You know what they say, go big or go home. What do you do when you acquire a billboard? You get your message out. Stay tuned. It's going to be more than just a billboard though. We're going to make it into a trail groomer with a message. It should go, right? Like as long as the door opens up all the way, it should go. Those that don't know, we had uh, a sign banner that was put up in the middle of Fort Nelson that uh, was stolen in the middle of the night one night. Uh, it was private property, it was a legitimate message, and it was taken, stolen, there's no other way to put it. So not much we can do about that. But we did say that one way or another, the message will get across. And so when you do something like that, you just encourage people to do something bigger. So how far do I need to stand back to get this whole thing in frame? It just barely fits in my shop. I need ideas. I'm peeling the, the current sign off of it. It's double sided. 10 feet by 20 feet. What are we gonna put on this Fort Nelson? Proud Canadians against masks and unlawful orders. Leave a comment down below. Well, we got one side mostly done. Then I got some of this other lovely color. We're gonna do the other side now. Should be fun. Well, y'all, it's been a little bit, I know, but I'm a one-man band, and this is a fair bit of work. But the designs are in the print shop. Hopefully, I'll have them tomorrow. There she is. Just going over the finals to make sure that I'm going to be all legal schmeagle-like. So, yep, 12 foot 8. 13 foot 6 is legal height, so we're good to go. Did I mention it was double-sided? Don't mind, we actually got some sunshine today, so I'm kind of avoiding that. Gray on one side, baby poop on the other side. Print shop was pretty happy about what we come up with, so it should be pretty cool. Stay tuned. Yeah. <laughs>